So, welcome to uh, coffee vlog number nine. Number nine. And uh, as you can tell, it's like almost like I just woke up, right? Well, that's the whole idea. It should be like that. It should be a coffee vlog. I wanted to do it different this time. I wanted to do this coffee vlog kind of like um, uh, in the studio with the black screen behind me and just do it kind of like this, you know. Although I'm not trying to copy Charlie Rose, you know, but uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, and we're not going to talk about Charlie Rose, okay? This this vlog is not going to be about that. I don't know what happened to that guy and, and all these accusations and all that. I don't know, okay? I just don't know. I know that's what the mainstream media says, but I don't know, okay? I cannot judge a human being unless I know personally what that human being did. Okay, who am I to judge? Who am I to be, you know to believe everything? You know, I don't believe everything. I always uh, like to play devil's advocate. I like to see the evidence. You know, I don't want to just hear the hearsay. But anyway, the reason I mentioned Charlie Rose, it's because of the the black screen that you're seeing. So it's kind of like the Charlie Rose um, TV show that he had, uh, where he would bring the guests, and uh, you know, I'm I'm sad that's what happened to him. You know. But uh, it is what it is. So let's talk about the, what we're going to talk about here. And of course, that's going to be my channel. And um, like, what are we doing in the future? And uh, what about the live streams? Uh, here's the thing, guys. Let me take a sip of coffee. I might think better with the cell phone brain. Look at the cell phone brain, dude. It's crazy. Mm. Here's the thing, guys. I try to do a variety of different things, you know. Uh, a lot of you out there are confused, and I think I understand your confusion because you get the wrong, wrong, wrong indications. Okay, some of you get the indications that my channel it's all about the televisions. Uh, that's not entirely true. I mean, I do have televisions. I do try to give you. Uh, my picture settings and I do try to test certain things on certain uh, televisions that I own but I cannot test everything it, you know if I was strictly television if I was just doing strictly televisions then I would need a sponsor that would give me a television every other day and I would need a space I would need like uh, some kind of like uh, office or something some kind of a place where they would lease to me where I would go there, camera, green screen, and let's go. Let's start doing the review, okay? Uh, I would need that kind of a deal. Now, have I was I approached before by some of these companies? Yes, I was. I was approached uh, by a couple of them. Uh, they were not like uh, brand companies. They were just like uh, electronic uh, shops and whatnot, and uh, some from Canada. And the problem, I didn't want to go with those guys from Canada is because of the uh, the tax issues. You know, basically, I would be taxed even more if I did, due to the tariffs and whatnot, I would be taxed even more if I did this whole shipping and, and uh, the kind of deal that I would make with them, you know, and the way they would pay me and all that. So it just it was just too too complicated. It was just too much complications. It, it it didn't it was not good for me. Okay, let's just say it. It was not a good deal for me. It was a good deal for them, and I didn't want to be used. So, but I was never approached by like a huge company. You know, like here in the United States, let's say I was never approached by. Uh, uh, well, let's say Magnolia. Magnolia said, "Hey, would you mind doing this for us?" Or let's say. Um, any uh, big company out there, even Samsung, if Samsung approached me and said, no, seriously, if Samsung approached me and says, hey, would you be willing to do tests on our newest and latest uh, televisions? We would ship it to you, get to keep it for a month, and then if I was approached by Samsung, sure, I would do it. Now, I understand you can also, you can file you can go ahead and contact these companies. Granted, I 
you know, did try a few of them. I tried Sony, I tried uh, TCL, I even tried Vizio, but I was really surprised by TCL, the TCL. I haven't heard nothing from TCL, you know. Uh, so I want you to know that I did try. You know, I don't want you guys thinking, oh, oh, Mr. 4K never tried. Yes, I did try. All I'm getting right now is people offering me accessories for uh, consoles, you know, like uh, different accessories for uh, the controllers and stuff like that. And I'm like, I'm not really into that. I'm not really, I don't, I don't want to, you know, have a sponsor who's just going to be into that. I mean, I just, because uh, it's not going to do well. I, I strictly wanted somebody who was going to support me as far as the television. Uh, I think I have my reasons as to why they don't want to support me. They don't want to be my sponsors because they don't like my style. You know, they're kind of confused. Uh, you know, they might think I'm like, a, you know, like a train wreck or something. And But what they don't understand is that I'm probably the most honest person they would have to tell people the truth about their products and I would also help them out being honest letting them know hey maybe this is what you need to upgrade you know uh, get rid of the edge lit or do this or don't go with too many of aggressive local dimming in there uh, you know stuff like that I would be able to to implement you know in terms of like what should be in the television next and stuff like that what people are looking for, where's the Dolby Vision, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, let me get another sip of coffee. I don't want you guys to think that I never tried. So, this channel is not just about television. Obviously, for those of you who've been following me for a long time, Demetrios knows this. The reason I always mention Demetrios, I know there's others. I mean, I can't remember all of you guys from top of my head, uh, but Demetrios has been with me since 2014, so he knows, even when I met, uh, he kind of introduced me to, well, kind of, because he, he let me know about this dude, uh, Joe uh, from Texas, uh, 1316 Killer, and I love that man, so I started following Joe, and Joe kind of inspired me to go into the 4K televisions. I mean, so it kind of started like that, and uh, of course the whole thing that happened between him and, you know, uh, the rich from Review Tech USA, that was, I found it was entertaining, a lot of people misunderstood what was going on there, he was just trying to do a comedy, you know, his channel was about comedy, and people misunderstood, and that's the sad part about what happened to, to Joe and, and 1316 Killer, is he was misunderstood. I understood Joe, uh, Demetrios understood Joe, and there was obviously a handful of, of people like Pacino who uh, from UK who understood Joe, uh, but there's a bunch of others out there who just didn't get it, like they, they just didn't click, they didn't get it as to what uh, Joe channel was all about, 1316 Kilo channel was all about. I really was sad to see that that he deleted um, that he was forced to delete some of the stuff and uh, that he had to because that was really a gold material stuff that he invested the time that he invested um, you know and uh, like I said man I am more than willing to uh, like I I still told Demetrius uh, Demetrius I said if you can ever get a if you can get a hold of him tell him dude I'll send him all my subscribers they can go and join him. They can give him a boost. Uh, dude, I even, at one point, I wanted to contact Brian Redband. I don't know if you guys know who Brian Redband is. I really wanted to contact Brian Redband to tell Brian Redband, listen, man, there's this guy, Joe, uh, Joe, <laughs> uh, 1316 Killer, and he does really amazing comedy, man. Really top-notch comedy. Maybe you should have... Joe Rogan look into it. Maybe Joe Rogan can give him a shout out or at least mention him. So I, you know, but it is sad that, you know, uh, that there's individuals out there who are not appreciating uh, what some of us are trying to do. And all they do is they go on this rampage. 
they go on this rampage of uh, destroying someone's career, or destroying someone's uh, art form. You know, uh, comedy comedians are artists because they're creating something that will entertain you. They're artists, and to see to see clowns out there who have no life. Obviously, they have no life. If they had a life, obviously, they wouldn't have time to come and, and, and as soon as they as soon as the artist uploads the video they hit dislike and they start writing shit down uh, these individuals obviously have no life they're they're confused they're conflicted they don't know what they're doing uh, I try to avoid that stuff but sometimes for me personally because I do have a short temper and I do try to control that it is difficult for me to overlook it you know if I see something wrong there's something inside of me like a Hulk where I can't, I can't just stand there and not say anything, okay? I'm sorry. If I see something wrong, morally wrong, I can't sit on the sidelines and not say anything. I have to, I have to say something. I have to react, okay? That's just me. That's how I was raised. I have to react, and I cannot let bullshit, uh, you know, swarm around with other bullshit. So... The reason I'm mentioning all of this because I want you guys on this coffee vlog to understand uh, what my channel is about. For those of you who are new, I'm not talking about uh, my veterans, you know, uh, and you guys know who you are, all right? I'm not talking about my John Wick, who is my top moderator, John Wick. And uh, I'm not talking about others first never follows and and gamer for life i mean the list is too long xenoxy i mean sorry guys i know i'm missing some of you i'm not mentioning everybody but it's kind of early in the morning i'm recording this video but you guys know who you are my regulars you know you guys know who you are and i love you i respect you i i, I consider you guys as a family because you are like a family because of you is the reason why i'm doing this you know uh, others like to label me as a short-tempered maniac, and of course they're going to do that. They're going to do that to fit their narrative, to, to fit their agenda, you know, because they need, they, they need something. They need a narrative, and, and what better narrative is to make me look like a villain, like I'm the villain. And that's what they try to do with everybody, to whom they don't like. You know, they try to label you as a villain. And their narrative is, this is why he's a villain. You see how he treats people. You see how he reacts. You know, the typical shit that majority doesn't buy in. And I'm not going to get into that. I'm not going to get into politics. But listen, uh, anybody who has any brains, anybody who can see what's going on will know what's going on. People can tell the difference between a bullshit and what's real. You know, I'm just saying. Uh, so... The reason I'm mentioning all of this, like I said earlier, is that for those of you who think that my channel is just about the televisions, I think you got the wrong indications. You know, just like the reason I mentioned Joe and 36 and Killer, people who got the wrong indication, they didn't get it. They thought that, that Joe was really angry, that he really wanted to go after, you know, uh, Review Tech USA and all these other people. That's not true. He was just making comedy. He was wearing. <laughs> he was he was actually putting on a co he was actually putting on a on an art on a theater. He was putting an effort to make it look funny. You know. The way he dresses, the way he puts on 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 you know on on the cosplay, almost like a cosplay with his uniforms and everything. He was making a comedic skit. Okay. And people didn't get it. They didn't get it. They thought that he was just complaining when, in fact, he was making comedy. He was talking about comedy, but people didn't get it. People didn't get it. And just like I have on my channel where people don't get what my channel's all about. They're, they're just still conflict, conflicted and confused. What is my channel all about? Well, first of all, I, I do have televisions. And I got quite a few of them. Okay? And, and no one has more televisions than me. Okay, all right. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, no one has more televisions than me. No one has more monitors than me. 
okay? And I'm not saying this to brag about it, okay? I know how's it going to look. You brag like an orange man. You see, that's how they're going to classify me. You brag like an orange man. I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you the truth. I have six years since 2014. I have 4,000 plus videos to prove that, to back that up, okay? Uh, so I do have televisions, but my channel is not just about the televisions. I do talk about them when there's a reason for me to talk about them. I do videos on them when there's a reason for me to do videos about them. But you guys have to remember, if you are subscribed to me expecting something like Vincent Teo or uh, Artings or Digital Trends to have a, a latest and, and greatest television unboxing and review, then that's not what this is about. Then, then you should unsubscribe. Because that's not what my channel is about. Okay, then you need to go ahead and, and look elsewhere. Okay. That's not what this channel is about. Because obviously I don't have a sponsor that can do that for me. I don't have a facility or a studio where I can do that and unbox all these televisions, send them back, get them back, uh, or, or have them send me another one and another one and another one. I don't have that. Uh, means of doing it okay if I did then it would be a different story then this channel then I would probably open a second channel just dedicated for that that's what would happen and then that second channel would just be for that but that's not the case so when you come to my channel I need you to understand that yes I do talk about the televisions when there's a reason for me to talk about them I do uh, picture settings on them when there's a reason for me to do picture settings on them I do re do some reviews on the 4k movies but the problem with the 4k movies is the YouTube has become a very difficult platform for me to do any reviews on these movies because uh, it's become very difficult even if you show a tiny little paused glimpse of a movie and the studio for some reason doesn't like your channel and like well I don't like this guy, I don't like this guy here, this individual talking about this movie. There's that too. And you're going to be automatically uh, copyrighted and your video is going to be blocked worldwide. So it's just, I don't want to waste my time uh, reviewing these movies if I don't know if they're going to be, you know, if you're going to be able to see them. I don't want to waste my time on something if the video is going to be blocked right that's another thing you need to understand the things have changed on YouTube YouTube it's not what it used to be guys things are different now on the YouTube and uh, I wish that that it wasn't like this but it is like this it's very difficult to to even make a video on YouTube because of so many obstacles is this suitable the way I'm talking is it suitable uh, can I talk about this movie without a major studio approval even though they're getting the proceeds, they're getting the they're getting the money to to them through the ads. Uh, so there's so much, there's so much. So I need you guys to understand it. What my channel is about, what Mr. Four K Upscaler is about, it's about this guy, this dude. It's all it, it's what I do. I'm that character. I'm that guy. I'm your host, and I talk about all sorts of different things. Sure, I talk about the televisions. I talk about the video games, I try to do the live streams, I try to be funny, I try to be entertaining, but the problem is with the live streams is I cannot do all of that if I have my chat from being poisoned by ridiculous, ridiculous spams and, and stuff. And the reason I, I need trustworthy mod moderators is so that way I don't have to worry about it, guys. Okay, the reason, the word moderator, it's there for a reason. It's there to, to keep the show running smooth. Otherwise, I'll have hecklers. You know, hecklers, like uh, in comedy clubs, hecklers are the worst. And I, when I went to the improv watching Bill Burr and, 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 and others, uh, and Ari Shafir and a bunch of others too, a uh, long time ago, uh, even Brendan Schaub, there's always one there. There's always a heckler sitting at the table saying something you know and I hate that crap like dude I didn't pay a ticket I didn't pay hundred dollars to listen to you motherfucker I pay hundred dollars to listen to to Bill Burr okay or Ari Shafir or Brent Shaw I, I pay uh, or or you know whoever 
I paid money to, to listen to them, to laugh. Didn't pay money to listen to your sorry ass. Uh, I don't know who the hell are you. Just came here. So that's why we have moderators. Moderators are there to keep the show running. Now, you've seen the video I did yesterday with, um, with that whole Pro Evolution Soccer and FIFA. I tried to have fun. Like on FIFA 20, everything went smooth and I had a lot of fun. And I brought in entertainment. I like to bring energy. I like to bring entertainment. I want you guys to laugh. I don't want you guys to come to my stream and have a bad, bad experience. Because the reason you want to come to my stream is to have a good experience. To laugh. To, to, to enjoy. Like me talking about iPhone 11 secrets to pro cooking. The way they've put all these cameras. You know, it looks like a, a cooking oven or something. Uh, so, I try to bring, you know, when I talk about the Arnold Schwarzenegger, the, the, the Schnitzelnator, the Terminator, you know, when I do all these different, you know, Colonel, when I do all these different voiceovers, I try to bring entertainment. You know, I try to bring entertainment. You know, I'm not trying to say that, that, I'm, that I'm the shit, that I'm the best. A lot of people take that shit the wrong way. They think, oh, oh, he's he's just showing off that he's this, he's that. No, I'm not showing off anything. Okay, if you can do an Arnold impersonation, do it, do it. Would you stop talking about it to go down there and do it? Come on, this is the bullshit over here. Stop typing on the keyboard. Go out there and do it. You know, or if you can do a Colonel, why is he talking about me? Just go out there and do it. Stop talking about it. Make a video about it. You know, if you can't do voiceovers, then do it. What's stopping you from using your camera and uploading the video? What's stopping you? If you can't do it, do it. But don't tell me that I'm trying to, to, to prove that I'm this, I'm that, you know. So, and this is the reason why I need moderators. Trustworthy moderators so I don't have to deal with nonsense. Because they're there for one reason, to disrupt my show to disrupt my stream and I don't want you guys to have that bad experience okay and this happened multiple times this happened multiple 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 times it happened on the Metro Exodus it happened on my PlayStation VR video and now it happens on Pro Evolution Soccer these individuals are tricky sometimes they'll go with their main account and they're gonna pretend that they like you they're going to pretend that they like you. They're going to start kissing your ass and saying, I agree with you, man. Forget the haters. You know, uh, They're trying to, 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 to get closer to you. And then behind your back, they go to their other accounts and they start spamming you. Okay, Why? Because they get off on that. They get off on that. I don't know. Uh, these, these are sick, twisted people, whatever. Label them as any which way you want. That's, I don't know how else to label them. It means you're sick, dude. You, something's wrong with you. If you don't like my channel, dude, just don't watch my channel. Unsubscribe. Filter me out. Go to whoever you like. I don't care. But this is exactly why I need moderators. Trustworthy moderators to whom I can trust. And I really need... You know, if I ever do another live stream, I need you guys to be there. I mean, I... Please contact me. I mean, people say, how do I contact you? Dude, I'm on Twitter. You can always contact me on Twitter. Send me a message on Twitter. Go to Twitter. Let me know. Hey, sorry, dude, I cannot make it to tomorrow. If you can't make it tomorrow, I'll reschedule. I'll reschedule for another day. Let me know when can you do it. But I need someone who I know going to be there taking care of business. You know, because it's not going to be good. The stream, it's not going to work if I constantly have to pause what I'm doing and then remove the individuals. You know, so right now the live stream is going to be on hold. Uh, I'm not going to do them anytime soon. And uh, I'll just have to, uh, I'll have to figure this out. You know, I got to talk to uh, some of my regulars, regular moderators and and. We need to work this out. We need to figure this out. We need to be on the same page, okay? Uh, we need to, to meet to figure this out. So I need you guys to contact me through Twitter. We need to talk about this because right now I have to put this on hold. I cannot really go through a stream when I know I got to deal with, with possibly another insurgent 
insurgency of these motherfuckers coming in to disrupt the stream. And remember, they come in to disrupt. They're not coming in to enjoy what I'm doing. They come in to just disrupt my shit, you know. So I, I'll need you guys, do, those of you who are my regulars, I need to talk to you because we need to figure this out as to how I can, if ever, I'll do this again, if I'm going to do a live stream. Okay, so, well, I'll, I'll have to put this on hold because right now I cannot do any live streams. It's going to be on hold. Uh, so it's been 25 minutes and this coffee vlog is going to be in 4K. I hope that that this coffee vlog number nine uh, explains to you as to uh, why, you know, right now at this moment, I cannot do any live streams. And, ho and ho also, hopefully, I hope that this video explained to you what my channel is all about, because a lot of people have misconception about what my channel is about. A lot of people out there they think that this is just strictly TV channel. This guy's all about the TVs. And that's the wrong indicator. Okay? I'm not all about the TVs. Nor did I ever say I'm all about the TVs. I got the nickname Mr. Four Gap Scaler because I I connected my X my PlayStation to an Xbox One S and I connected it to my 4K television in 2015 and then, you know. That's how I got the nickname. But I'm not digital trends. I'm not digital trends. I am not uh, uh, HD TV tests. I'm not artings. I'm not uh, AV forums. And I'm definitely not Jay Z Two Cents with the PCs. I'm not uh, Linus Tech Tips. Okay, so I need you guys to understand uh, what my channel is about. Okay. And uh, I hope this clarifies. What I'm about, it's, it's me. You come here to see me, to, to hear my views, to hear my opinions, to hear what I have to say, uh, to listen to my uh, views on certain things, on, on, on televisions, on video games, on current events, on other stuff. It's about me, this geese right here. It's not just strictly television. Sure, there's some videos about televisions when there's a reason, but it's 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 not just about that. And, and some of you out there got this wrong indication that Mr. Four K is all about the television, you know. And I think that's where you get the wrong idea, you know. And then you go to those other channels, and then you listen to their bullshit, and they feed you their bullshit, and then you buy into their bullshit bullshit and then you start thinking oh this guy is definitely this he's definitely that okay when in fact you didn't understood what my channel was about in the first place okay so I hope that this video clarifies this and explains this okay I tried to be crystal clear here about you know my channel and my future now the future of this channel I do have some plans regarding Google Stadia the X Cloud, it's coming out now pretty soon, in October, November, we're almost close. Uh, and there's some games I'm looking to play, obviously, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint and uh, Modern Warfare Call of Duty. Now, is there going to be a live stream of these games? I don't know yet. I have to talk to, talk to my moderators. We need to figure this out. Like I said, you can contact me on Twitter, but we need to figure this out. Because we cannot have this kind of thing happening, repeating constantly. Because uh, either I'm not going to do it at all or that's that. I mean, either we're going to do it where it's clean and where you guys can have fun and enjoy it or I'm just not going to do it, you know, because I can't be dealing with this repeat, repeat reoccurrence of, of, of crap, you know. I will just not put up with that, okay? I will not tolerate that. So I hope that this video uh, clarifies what my channel is about and I hope that... Uh, Look, I try to be as honest, as crystal clear as I can be on this. Uh, looks like a Charlie Rose uh, or between two uh, firms or whatever. <laughs> uh, Zach, whatever, Monopolis, whatever his name is. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this 4K, uh, Mr. 4K 
coffee vlog, which is in 4K and it's 30 minutes, so enjoy. All right, guys, take care. And like I said, contact me on Twitter, direct message. It's private, it's direct message. That's the best place for you to contact me. And uh, so we can talk about this and, and how we can proceed with the live streams. And we need to, we'll keep this confidential, but I need to talk to you guys as to how we're going to do this. Okay, because I cannot have this same uh, repeat reoccurrence that happens so often. And uh, so, like I said, get in touch with me. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to catch you later. Have a good one. By the way, uh, connecting that PC to an OLED, guys, it's really amazing. I will try it on a QLED. Don't worry. I will try it on a QLED. But it really looks amazing on the OLED, man. And remember, the OLED is something you have to see in person. To, to You have to bring it home. You have to bring it home and watch it in your home to, to truly appreciate and, 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 and get this idea as to like how good it is. Okay? All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you all. I appreciate it. Thank you for the understanding. But remember, you know, I'm trying to be as reasonable. I'm trying to be as honest with you guys as possible because I want you to have a good time on my channel. I, I know you're dealing with a lot of shit in your life like everybody else. I understand that. But that's what I want. I want to have a good, good, fun, fun live stream. That's what I try to do. I don't want to have a shitty live stream. Okay, you guys are already dealing with the shit in your life. And the last thing you want is come to my channel and then deal with more drama. Uh, and I don't want to be that guy. I, I don't want to be that, you know, that, that dude. But, you know, sometimes I have no choice. I have to react to what I'm dealing with, okay? And I'm sorry for this uh, long uh, coffee vlog, but it needed to be long uh, like this because uh, I needed to explain some things to you. For those of you who do care about the channel, who do care about me and my channel and, and the status of this channel, okay? So that's what this video is about and that's why it's so long. Well, thank you. And remember, live in the moment. Live in the moment. We'll do it like this. Thank you. I'm taking a photo. All right, guys. Love you. Be good. Take care.